Everyone, welcome back to Fantasy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for being here with me once more on my channel. And to book a private session with me, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Today, I will be uploading Taurus versus Aries, and I'm doing a love reading for Leo. So if you are not yet a member of the Femacy Lighthouse VIP, I will put the link for you to join in the comment section. Everyone knows that I'm giving away a free 30-minute private session on June 15th. If you're interested in joining the raffle, all you have to do is become a follower of the Femacy Lighthouse pre-show on Instagram. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the recent past when it comes to energies that surround Taurus with victory coming out here first, the Six of Wands. Tell me more about victory, travel, celebrations here in the recent past. We do have the moon energy coming out here. So this is Pisces. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming out. Tell me more about the moon and this Six of Wands energy. We have the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Capricorn energy coming out here with the Four of Pentacles. We have the Empress. Ooh, so it seems like somebody wants to fight for you. I don't know what's going on. We have the Empress. This is you coming out here. Somebody secretly feeling like they got to come towards you. All right, what's up with this person? Six of Wands energy, feeling like they need to approach you, but it has to be done in the nighttime. Not a lot of people can know about this. It's hidden. There's secrets. Somebody hiding how they truly feel for you. We do have the Five of Wands. So I don't know if someone in the recent past has been fighting over something, if they're fighting around you, or if this is someone who's having internal conflict. We do have the Four of Pentacles energy, Capricorn. I feel like there's a Capricorn here that knows there's something up, okay? Keep that in mind. I feel like this Capricorn is going to be very vigilant over what's happening with someone or the way that somebody is behaving. We have the Empress coming out here. So regardless of whatever it is, that somebody has to go through, they're willing to do that in order to make it to you with your energy coming out here. I don't know what the drama's all about, though. Let me clarify that. What is this Five of Wands coming out here for the recent past? What is this Five of Wands? Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be happening at home, fighting at home, somebody fighting with the fact that they have to be stuck in a place or they just want to get out of there. Something like that is happening here where there's drama at home. Somebody's trying to avoid it, but there could be like a Capricorn trying to start something or I see someone looking through someone's stuff. All right. That's what I'm seeing right now. I don't know what that has to do with. We do have... The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands and the Empress coming out here. There could be competition. Tell me more. We do have the Knight of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have the Hanged Man. So it's like somebody's waiting here. We do have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Scorpio energy with the Death card and the Page of Swords. I feel like if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio's worried about you. I don't know why, but the Scorpio's worried. That's what I'm getting. Spirit, talk to me about the present. That was the recent past. Talk to me about the present when it comes to energies that surround Taurus. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords. Somebody stuck, trapped, locked down. I don't know what's going on with them. They're overthinking. Okay, they could be doing this to themselves. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, for some of you, not all of you. Talk to me about the Eight of Swords energy coming out here. The Two of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Tell me more. And the World card with Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. We have the Eight of Cups. So there's definitely some type of travel or somebody's tempted to travel to you. Something like that is going on, okay? Because at the beginning of the reading, we got the Six of Wands energy, and that's all about travel. Okay, Six of Wands coming out here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the urge to travel towards this Empress, which is you, Taurus. And then in the present moment, 
we have some sort of stagnation because of this overthinking that someone is doing. It has to do with travel or somebody coming to see you, something like that. Tell me more about the eight of cups. Talk to me about the eight of cups in the present when it comes to Taurus. Eight of cups to the magician. Yeah. Can I have a new beginning? Can I come and see you? Can we talk about things? I've been manifesting you on the low. Somebody's manifesting you. All right. The magician energy, Aries, Virgo, Gemini coming out there. Tell me more about the magician in the present. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Talk to me about the Queen of Swords. There will be a conversation between you and this person. However, they're still holding a grudge. Think about the person who's holding a grudge towards you. They want you real bad, but I feel like you might have hurt them real bad with what you said. So their feelings got hurt is what I'm getting. So perhaps there's something that you may want to clarify if you feel like this person is worth it. If they're worth it to you, then you may want to clarify what it was that you meant when you said those harsh words or something like that, because I feel like they're holding on to something and they want to know if that's the way you really feel or if you were just angry when you said that, something like that. Spirit, talk to me about the future. Talk to me about the future when it comes to energies that surround Taurus. King of Pentacles coming out here. This is you. It's also Virgo and Capricorn. Talk to me about the King of Pentacles in the future when it comes to this energy and the Ace of Wands. I told you they want you. You got somebody that wants you here. All right. They're angry about something that you said or they're holding on to the grudge. They want to know if you mean what you said. Did you mean it, Taurus? You know, that's what I'm hearing. Did you mean it? Were you just mad? Or when you be getting mad, you be saying the craziest shit is what I hear them saying. <laughs> okay. Something like that. Okay. But however, it's not going to stop this from happening. Ace of Wands to the King of Pentacles. Yes, they want you. Regardless if you're dealing with a fire sign or not, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius to the king of pentacles. Regardless of fire or not, it doesn't matter the sign. This person still wants to talk to you, wants to communicate with you. Holding a grudge, I feel like they'll get over it. Eventually they will because they want to come and see you. They want to talk about the things that you guys haven't spoken about. There's some catching up to do is what I'm getting. Tell me more. Clarify the Ace of Wands, okay, the Ten of Wands. Perhaps they want to talk to you about how difficult it's been to not have you around. You know, I feel like they want to be honest about that and how they feel your absence and they don't want to be without you, okay? I feel like they're confused about what they're going to do when it comes to another person in their future, in their life, because they're definitely somebody else they're associated with whether they're being honest with you about that or not, okay, you make them question the other connection. That's how they know they're in the wrong place. You know, I feel like they're in the wrong place with somebody else or they're dealing with somebody else. You make them question that somebody else. So that's how they're going to know your importance, right? That's how important you are. When they have to sit there and be like, damn, I'm going to have to cut this other person off because I'm not trying to lose Taurus. Something like that is going on and I feel like they're confused about that right now. In the future, I see them completely eliminating somebody else for you, Taurus. Mark my words, mark this day on the calendar, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm getting here. They're just not that into the other person. They're not. They are not. Tell me more. Five of Pentacles energy coming out there, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be dealing with another earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn energy that's going to end up in the Five of Pentacles. That's going to end up being the one that ends up being out of a contract or out of a situation. You know, I just feel like this person that's in love with you, Taurus, because I can see it here, they don't want to lose you. So that's going to lead them 
to a better choice that they need to make. They know that, okay? In order to keep you, there are some changes that they have to make, okay? And I see them actually thinking about that, you know? I do. They're thinking about it. They're confused right now. I feel like they want to talk to you. If you haven't spoken to them, they absolutely want to speak to you. They can't wait to see you as a matter of fact, but there was some sort of discrepancy here, some sort of issue with the five of wands. There was conflict. So that's something that needs to be resolved. I don't feel like you're going to be beefing with this person. This person is still in this energy of feeling like you're going to start an argument. I don't feel that. We just came out of a beautiful season, right? We just came out of our own season. Everybody or most of everyone was, you know, celebrating their birthday, traveling, you know, uh, starting businesses, saving money. There's so many other things that we were focused on. We're not focused on starting problems with people. That's not what we're focused on. So that person needs to just throw those thoughts away. Perhaps the person, the other person that they're dealing with likes to start conflict or they have to walk on eggshells around that person, you know, maybe that's what's going on. Anything else for Taurus? What's going to happen with these two? Seven of Swords, though, all right? Seven of Swords. Now, why is someone showing up as a Seven of Swords? Is somebody going to be stepping out? Is somebody doing something that they know they shouldn't be doing? I, I feel like they don't care if they shouldn't be doing it. They want to do it. They want to do it. With this star card being present, it's like they want to feel that passion again. They don't feel that. They don't feel that. If this person is in a relationship with somebody else, they do not feel the passion, the fire. It's boring. It really is boring. Okay, and they're looking for not only excitement, but the more they are bored, the more they think about how you used to provide them with that excitement. You know, they don't have that. They don't. They may have somebody that lets them do whatever they want. They may have someone that they can manipulate. They may have someone that will say, okay, okay, yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, bye. You know, someone like that. <laughs> That's not a Taurus, right? We're not going to be like, we're going to be like, what? And what did you say? But like, what do you mean you're coming back like five hours later? Like, and you're going where? Okay, but like, why? You know, so we ask questions. They may be with somebody that'd be like, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, okay. Keep up with that okay shit. Eventually, that's going to get you played. That, okay, I'll see you later. All right. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> no. But I still feel like this person wants to talk to you. They want to be around you. And... Still viewing you as the more difficult option, but that's what makes them want you more. So, all right, that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.